Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander people are a part of the fabric of the Pittsburgh community, and we work in all kinds of industries、um, that support the Pittsburgh economy. And among the this group, the Asian, Asian American, Pacific Islander.、Um, At Apollo, we really look at the sort of the cross of、um, uh, class and race. A part of what we do is providing information about basic workers' rights, the basic employment and labor law that a lot of people don't know exists or apply to them. And we also talk about immigrants' rights,、um, and we provide those information because I believe that. When people have the information, then they will be able and willing to stand up for themselves and for people around them. And also, when they know there's resources they can count on, then they will be able to take actions together. And that's how we make our community stronger. We do have other like Asian American or Pacific Islander affinity groups or interest groups here, but I think there's very few that actually focus specifically on labor and the labor movement. And so I think that's. Uh, where Paula's niche is,、um, and we try to target our target audience is you know the working class and、um, people who are in unions, people who may want to unionize. In that way, they actually serve the community, not just the,、uh, no matter what color you are, what age you are, what kind of、uh, condition you are, whether you are legal or illegal. But at that time, and we have to just、uh, unite it as one.、Uh, One body, you know, to survive this pandemic. I think in that way, I admire them so much. I would say the challenge、um, has always been, and also in the pandemic, also shows that is that our outreach is only effective when we have the cultural competency. So that means, you know, reaching out to people in a language they understand, but also in a way they understand, and in a way that they trust. Which means it's not from not. It can't be just like I write something in English, I send it to a translator, they send me back. I put a flyer out there. It's not as simple as that. It's about having volunteer organizers who actually can communicate and build trust in that specific community. So one of the biggest challenges that because we are only successful when we have those messengers and organizers. It was the middle of. The pandemic. I was at home. I was I, I was at home with my family, and I got a text from Vivian at Apollo National, and she asked me if I could go out and help knock on doors for、uh, the runoff elections in Georgia to help get out more API voters. And I think it was just amazing to me that people from all over the country in Apollo were. Getting on a plane and going to Georgia at this time to make sure that people were getting registered and people were able to vote, despite all of the efforts to prevent them from doing that. And so Apollo has been very fortunate to help provide a lot of cash assistance and、um, to families who who you know were really greatly impacted by the pandemic.、Um, so we've done fundraiser. We've done a lot of mutual aid projects. We did a fundraiser back in. May for Asian Pacific and Asian Pacific American Heritage Month,、um, and we raised I'm pretty sure over two thousand dollars alone just from our、um, our ticket sales. We did a little、uh, cook off,、um, or I guess cook along session, with a couple of local chefs, and、um, we had you know those tickets were、um, priced, and then we raised money in that, in that way and distributed that to local families, and so、um, you know people who were hit really hard by COVID were. We tried to help. I don't think COVID. I don't think I, COVID has obviously increased the need, but I think the bigger story with COVID is just exposing the underlying deficiencies that we have in the, in our systems and our institutions and how they serve people, especially workers and especially immigrant workers. So basic knowledge about what their rights are、um, turn out to be very important. For people that were just struggling to put food on the table, and then the other part would just be the、uh, cash, limited cash assistance we were able 
to provide because of the coalition work with other groups like Casa San Jose. Um, that's how we got the financial support um, to be able to provide direct cash assistance. That's really just a little drop, um, but, but it's a nothing for people to um, have some resources. Congratulations, Apollo Pittsburgh, and all the members and volunteers of Apollo Pittsburgh um, for getting this recognition from class. And also congratulations to all the partners who um, were willing to believe in us and believe in what we're trying to do in the very beginning and organize with us. Um, really appreciate your support. It's Casa San Jose, Thomas Merton Center, LACLA. Congratulations, Apollo Pittsburgh. You deserve this award because you have been doing tremendous uh, volunteer work and uh, leadership in the volunteer work for this community. I'm very proud to volunteer for your organization.